So in this video, I'm just responding to an Instagram post that I was tagged in and asking some questions regarding it and bringing up some possible concerns I have. So on screen here, you can see what the post is all about, comparing a clean to a trap bar jump with the same load and measuring the average velocity of each. So this whole comparison of trap bar jumps versus power cleans, as far as which one is better for training for power is a false dichotomy. You're comparing apples to oranges. So question number one that I have with this post is, why would I use the exact same loads for both exercises? I can clean way more weight than I can jump with. And just as a side note here, that's kind of irrelevant to the broader discussion. You aren't actually jumping when you clean, even though your feet come off of the ground. Your feet come off the ground as you try to drop or pull yourself under the bar, and you're actually unloaded at this moment in time. But given that I can clean more than I can jump with, why would I use the exact same loads when comparing the two exercises? The loads don't represent a relative intensity that is equal for both exercises. If I jump with 70 kilos and then I clean with 70 kilos, I can put full effort into the jump and nothing will go wrong. If I clean 70 kilos and truly pull with maximal effort and I don't harness any of that force because of the subsequent task of catching the bar, I'll throw the bar through the ceiling. Which leads me to my next point, which is the tasks are different. Cleans require a greater level of precision and a three-dimensional interaction with an external body of mass. The jumps don't. The goal of the trap bar jump is to accelerate your body mass and propel it off of the ground. And the trap bar is just an extension of your body mass. The goal of a clean is to accelerate the barbell off of the floor onto your shoulders. The bar is an external body of mass, not an extension of your body mass. And with that point being made, are you supposed to measure the velocity of your body body mass or of the barbell? And why is it one of those and not the other? And how is it an equal comparison if one of the exercises inherently involves a decelerative component and the other does not? And then my last question here is why is average velocity more important than peak velocity or more important than power production or even more important than impulses that are experienced during common points of each lift? And so my last point, and I know I've said it before, but it still holds true. Just get out of the mindset of training for power. It's misguided. Power is just the product of a math equation. It shouldn't be the ultimate goal of training. There's a ton of other questions and concerns I could bring up regarding this post, but that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.